Hey, just a reminder, I've partnered up with Drumeo and you guys, all of you guys, are able to get a 30-day membership to Drumeo for free. And if you're not interested in just drums, they have guitar and piano and singing as well. All you have to do is go to the link in my bio, click on it, and enter and sign up for 30-day free membership. How awesome is that? So much information in there, all kinds of play-along tracks, and all your favorite drummers are on there with their uh, coaching sessions. So take advantage, okay? See you guys later. Would you like to get your flams faster? All right, let's do it. I will explain. Let me show you first. I start out with just regular, just wrist movement, regular old flams. As I get faster, you see I'm incorporating the molar, which is down, up, down, up, down, up. It's different than the push-pull. I'm not there yet. I'll show you the push-pull in a second. So here's the regular just wrist ones. Here's the molar. Get some movement into push pull. Push pull is so it's slow. Push pull, push pull, push pull. We're going to do some flamed windmills and some fun tacks. I'm taking it out of John Wooten's book, Rudimental Reference. So here we go. What am I doing, you ask? This is the partial of a paradiddle. How do you get the diddle part of a paradiddle fast enough to go to the next paradiddle? It's relaxing that diddle. If you were to just drop your stick, don't push it in, just with light pressure, Push the stick down, then relax your fingers. Don't let them off the stick, but I'm just showing you how to relax your fingers to get the optimum number of bounces. Nice, clean bounces. So there's space in my hand here. To get a clean diddle, So if you're getting a buzz, that means that you're not quite relaxed enough. Okay, so just doing this, pair, diddle, pair, diddle, pair, diddle. It's a downstroke, leave it down, and then a light, easy push 
to get a clean diddle. So you can do paradiddle. The up uh is really low to the to the pad. Almost a ghost note. So practice these on both hands. If I was to play traditional. Now, if you're going to continue playing paradiddles, there's one more small tap. Third needs to be an up to get ready for the next pair. Diddle. Pair a diddle, pair a diddle, pair a diddle, pair a diddle. So practice it this way. Diddle and then an up. Using some arm that gets your pair diddles moving. Use a little arm movement. You will never get fast diddles if you're playing with no arm and all wrist strokes. You have to get that relaxed diddle in there. And then start getting a little molar in there. Pair a diddle, pair a, pair a diddle, pair a, pair a diddle, up. Get that movement going. You will find your pair of diddles will improve. Because you're dropping that diddle in there. You're not crushing it. It's nice. An open, a nice open bounce that you're getting from this. When you hear two, diddle, just pick it up gently. It will improve the speed of your paradiddle. Hope that helped. See you guys later. All right, let's do some shivers. This is what I call them at least. We'll do four strokes, five strokes, maybe sixes and sevens. Okay, so four stroke. On the left. So you try to shiver them as close together as you can. Nice and clean so you can hear the four strokes. You can alternate them. Okay, so fives. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just drop them in there, shiver them. Then sevens. Excuse the dogs. We're camping and everyone has at least three dogs and they don't care if they bark. That's something to work on. We're going to be talking about traditional grip. I get messages every single day on all of my socials. I don't know how to do traditional grip. It's not that hard. So standing 
with your arm against your side, just like this. Bring your arm up right here at the crack, straight up. Do not do that because you're not holding your hand like that when you're standing. Just stand like this, bring your arm straight up. Put the stick in this space right here. Now, tighten it with your thumb. Then I'm going to put my two fingers on top and two fingers on the bottom. But notice, I'm going to touch my thumb. I'm not gonna leave that space. My thumb is going to touch the first joint of my finger, gently. The middle finger is just a guide from keeping it to going, you know, out of control. Your ring finger, this first joint, will be the resting spot. Do not close your hands up like this. Do not do that. That will not work. Do not close those fingers up. Do not pinch the stick and you end up like this, which a lot of students do. I'm still going back to here, coming up here, two on the top, gently, two on the bottom. My thumb is touching my pointer finger. Now I'm going to just pick it up this way. So this is wrist movement. My hand is still the same, just like this, gently here. I'm not squeezing the stick. I'm not closing my fingers like that. It's just a simple, easy way. And you practice this movement. You can kind of push this just to uh, even loosen the muscles in your wrist if you're saying that your wrist doesn't go up that far. Just gently push up and give some exercise to your, your wrist. So, practicing this movement every day. You have this V. This is where the stick is gonna hit. It's not gonna hit over here or over here. The center of the pad with the center of your body. See my buttons are the center. There's where my sticks are. So wrist, and here is another good exercise if you want to start incorporating fingers to help. Go back to this position here. I have a good grip right here on my thumb. Get this movement. Then you can put your index finger on, on top and do the same thing and leave the other fingers away from it just to experiment where the, the finger work is coming. Now I'm using thumb and forefinger. I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. See if you notice it. There are drummers will, that will add their middle finger as well. And then you can use both index finger and middle finger. So it's not as hard as you make it out to be. If you start the way I'm explaining, start easy, Keep your hand like this. Do not play palm up when you're playing. If you're playing palm up, you're not using the correct wrist motion like this. All right, hopefully this explains traditional grip is not that difficult. It takes practice like anything else that you wanna be good at. You can do it.
working to try to get the speed up, you can do it too. That was four paradiddle, flan paradiddle diddles. If you're wondering, and it was in triplicate time to begin with. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the rest are flan rudiments, figure them out. I want to play, but the stick is very heavy, so I need to use a whipping motion to get the stick out of the pad. And if I don't do anything, the stick bounces as many times as it wants. If I want just one stroke, I can just stop the stick with my hand. Let's say I want it to bounce only once. So with one motion from my wrist, I can get two strokes or three, or four. Things you have to have in mind to start practicing. The first thing you need to practice is this. Allowing the stick to bounce as much as it bounces, because we need to get this motion right. Same thing with the left hand. 